All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another beer review. Quite a lot of guys out there watching, maybe a few women. I always notice my audience is 70, 75% males. I'm not assuming anything, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. Today we are gonna be drinking one of these fine Breckenridge Brewery, fine pale ales and lager, out of Littleton, Colorado. It is 6% alcohol, a little bit higher than the cookie porter. It is a peanut butter porter from Breckenridge Brewery. And we're going to be reviewing the taste of this. What do we have? We don't even have a label on this one that gives us a little description. The other can had a little description on the side, so no description on this one. Now, if you're from the Cleveland area, there was a brewery called Willoughby Brewing Company, and they had delicious peanut butter ale. Unfortunately, they're shut down, and I haven't had one of those in about a year now. So I've been looking for a good peanut butter ale. I've tried the left hand one. I have to review that on the channel. The left hand ain't bad, but what does Breckenridge have for us? I'll show you guys the can a little bit closer. This came in a variety pack, as I mentioned in my previous video. You have four different beers, uh, three of each beer. So it's a 12 pack for about 18 bucks. It's about about 50 a beer. And that, that's much better price than your local pub. So check out your local specialty beer stores. See if you can pick this up. We'll see if it's worth it here. We've already reviewed the cookie porter. So let's see how this pours. Like I said, I like to pour it about a 45. A little bit of a head on it. Not too bad. A little bit more foam than the cookie porter, even though I poured it about the same angle. A little more clear than the cookie porter. I can almost see the camera through it, but not quite. A little bit of a backdrop on that. It does have a peanut butter cup type of smell to it. I'm telling you right now, I like it better than the cookie porter. I, I like peanut butter beers. It's just something about it. It's got a thick, rich taste. It's not too sweet. <sighs> the aftertones aren't as high as the peanut butter ale I used to have. Like I said, they don't exist anymore. There's a light coffee aftertone to it. I mean, I like coffee, personally not when I'm drinking too much, but I like coffee in the beginning part of the day, you know, at 7 a.m. to like 5 p.m. I try not I try not to never drink coffee after 5 p.m. I, I don't want to be called an alcoholic. Maybe you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, I do, I do get a little coffee taste. Uh, the peanut butter isn't overpowered. It, it, it's there. But I feel it's kind of like an aftertone versus like peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. You know, it's not like taking a scoop of peanut butter out of the jar and eating it. All right, let's, let, let's put it that way. It ain't, it ain't quite that extreme. Take another swig. I'll tell you what guys, Frank the Tank does not think this is bad. 
don't know if I would consider it like a top five or maybe top ten type of beer. And I'm a big porter guy. I like porters, I like stouts, I like thick heavy beers. So I go on my diet. And then I'm like a hard seltzer and black guy type of guy. But uh, when I'm drinking thick heavy beers, I know I'm gonna drink a lot less than if I go buy 15 or 30 pack Keystone, Coors, something like that. I, it's basically water to me. I drink those in 30 seconds, you know? Basically water. I mean, I can remember sitting down with two buddies. We drank 90 beers in four hours. And I, it, it was all cheap beer. I can't tell you I could drink 30 of these, though. It, it settles on you. It's a heavy beer. You know? It's not, it's not like drinking 30 Bud Lights or 30 Coors Lights or 30 Keystones or whatever the matter. You know? Remember that night. I, I still remember too because it's like it wasn't even drunk. It's like we all drank 30 beers and it's just like a big old pile of beer cans over there. Oh, we're out of beer again. No, you won't have it with this beer. I'll tell you that right now, if you had 30 of those, you wouldn't make it through the night. You would not drink 30 of those. Still getting slight coffee overtone even though it don't say there's coffee in here they probably just threw a little bit in for flavor but it's not the heaviest peanut butter ale I've ever had um, I, I probably recommend left hand before this one that almost tastes like a Reese's cup I'm not getting the Reese's cup vibe from this one I'm sorry, Breckenridge. You got two more beers for me to review, but this one, it, it isn't going to cut my top three beers for you. It's just not going to happen. I'll give you my final thoughts on this when I finish this up. Let's go, Cavs. Let them know. If you're from here, comment. 440216 down below 330 let them know comment down below from the area comment down below give me my final comments here in a minute not not like I said not my favorite peanut butter ale not my least favorite peanut butter ale. Uh, I guess with one sip left, I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven out of 10. It's not great, it's not terrible. It's better than a five. It does have a good taste. It's just not quite up to my standards of a peanut butter ale. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so. Leave some comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Until next time.